I'm just I'm really disappointed. Uh, that that's I came here to, to win a medal, so I came here to win. Um, and to not make a final is it's just a gross underperformance, you know, it's, it's bad. There's no kind of I don't want to hear the kind of explanation for it and the excuses, you know, I went out there and I, I failed to reach the final there. Um, and that it's just not really good enough. So, am I right saying, have you been kind of injured recently, or yeah. is that, so is it when you slipped? Uh... Yeah, I slipped in London and picked up, a, yeah. picked up a hamstring injury there, that healed, and then I picked up a quad injury during the training camp for, for Worlds. So, you know, I've been battling injuries, but the, the team has been incredible, and it's got me ready. To the, they, they did their job, you know, everybody else did their job, they got me onto the, the runway, um, and I was pain-free and able to compete, um, and I didn't deliver. And it's a hard pill to swallow that I, I, I couldn't do it. Um, because standing there, I really believed that I would. But I, I wasn't able to. I was going to say, the, the mindset of you know, going on to that runway, did, even with the injuries recently, did you feel like you had a big performance in yeah. you? Yeah. Today, I wouldn't have stepped on the track if I didn't. Well. I wouldn't have stepped on the track if I didn't think I was recovered to the point of being ready. Um, and so that's why I'm so disappointed. I don't want to go out there and go, oh, it's okay, at least I made it onto the track. That's not what I was here for. Um, and so that's it, it's really disappointing. Uh, I did, yeah, I did feel ready, and I, I couldn't put it together. Yeah, I know exactly what happened. You know, I fouled in the first round, um, so that would have been a better jump. Second round, uh, I, went, I went too high, and then the third round, I collapsed on the board. I just, I haven't had that um, technical training to kind of fix those things. You know, I was hoping that we'd be able to work at it through the rounds, but I wasn't able to get it together fast enough um, but I should be able to I've been doing this for years I know how to long jump uh, you know four weeks off shouldn't mean I can't long jump anymore so uh, yeah I know, I know what went wrong which is why I'm so disappointed it's not like it's some big mystery as to what I was doing it just I couldn't get it together so in the BBC you'll be back you know we've got the big games next year so what's your feelings moving forward um well ask me in a couple of weeks you know right now all I can feel is a disappointment from this uh, of course I'll be back that's you know, next year will be a whole different story, but that, right now, I came here to win a medal at the World Champs and I haven't even made the final. That's dreadful. And final one for me, when you reflect on the year that you've had, when yeah. you kind of sit back, you know, 31st of December, you know, European indoor champion, you jumped seven metres. You know, it's just been a pretty good year overall. It was a good indoor season. I don't think it's been a good year. I don't think you can judge a year on an indoor medal. Um, ultimately, this is what matters and I failed to make the final. Uh, I've had a really patchy Diamond League season and then I haven't made the final here. So I, I don't think it's a good year, unfortunately. I think I've got a lot of positives that I can drag out and, and learn from it. But a seven metre jump in March means nothing if I don't make the final in August.